back to Your Regina 120. I'm Jeff Cliff, and this is a video series of 120 things that I have learned as part of my degree at the University of Regina, uh, a Bachelor of Computer Science, as it were. Um, and today we're going to be learning about the ecological fallacy, uh, yet another logical fallacy that I think that you should know about. So what is the ecological fallacy? Uh, I don't know why it's called the ecological fallacy. Don't ask me that question. But uh, the, the basic idea uh, is when you make an inference about a specific individual or a specific data point based on the aggregate statistics or the, the aggregate properties of the group that it belongs to. And so this is something that comes up all the time when dealing with people, with human beings, and in a casual conversation, when people say stuff like, uh, quote, women suck at driving, unquote. Uh, and then therefore, if, you know, implying, of course, that a particular woman, you know, sucks at driving because she's a woman. Of course, that is logically not the case. There may be a case at this high aggregate statistical level that's due to experience, due to cultural factors, that there's a difference, a, a small difference between the skill and ability of men as a group, i.e. the three and a half billion people who are men and the three and a half billion who are women. That may or may not be true. You can look that particular data point up. As far as I know, it was true at one point. It changes as, as people, you know, drive and don't drive uh, to some extent. However, what doesn't change is that if you are a specific woman, that has no meaning for you. It, it, it is completely irrelevant. You could be the, the best driver in the world. You could be, a, you know, sports car driver, NASCAR driver, far in, extent, uh, in excess of any kind of skill that I would certainly have. Uh, it is just simply not the case that you can ever say that because women suck at driving, a particular, you know, woman that sucks at driving, even if it were the case that women suck at driving. Same thing with men being violent. You know, statistically speaking, there's a lot of violence that comes from men as a group proportional to what you would expect if it were probability against odds. That does not mean that every single man that you meet is violent. It, there may be a way to get to the point where you can say, you know, a, a per particular greater chance uh, of violence can happen. But again, it's, it's, you'd have to be very careful when you're doing that. There's, there's complicated statistics involved. I'm not going to get into them, but you definitely don't want to do this if you don't know how to do that statistics. Uh, and on and on and on. So if after example, after example, after example, uh, there's all sorts of groups that have properties at the high level. You can do policy to it, attempt to influence the level uh, of those particular properties. Those policies are aimed at groups, not individuals. If you try to target individuals, you have to be very careful when doing so to avoid committing the ecological fallacy. Um, this isn't necessarily just about uh, people as well. You can uh, have this fallacy when dealing with data points as well. Uh, if you are, you know, again, it's hard to kind of extract this from the person uh, example to keep things simple, but if you come into a website on a mobile device, that does not necessarily mean that you want to be redirected to the mobile site. Uh, again, you're, you're part of a group, the mobile users, and if there is a you know, property that you know, many mobile users do want to be directed to the mobile site, but it doesn't necessarily mean that all do. So what this boils down to is the idea of stereotypes and stereotyping. And there may be some vague use in using stereotypes to direct behavior and to, to, to deal with individuals based on them. However, it is very, very difficult to do so properly, and it's best to just try to avoid doing so if you can, uh, specifically if you're taking a group property and applying it to an individual. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, in the future, try to avoid this kind of hasty kind of generalizing, uh, and uh, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to post them in any uh, uh, comment thread where this video is posted. Do we have any questions from the audience? No questions from the audience? All right. No. Thank you for watching. See you next video.